Today is March 7th, which means we are almost a month away from our surgery date. Work, no issues there. Okay. Just because after work uses all absorbable. One day before surgery, I'm going to get my hair braided because I cannot get this wet, get this mess with it, touch it, hit it, nothing. This is what I'm looking like right now. But all I know is it ain't working. I'm in pain, so. stop day one it's 8 54 i'm kind of running behind schedule i wanted to be already out the house but i have um radiation at 10. i'm in a lot of pain <laughs> i've been in a lot of pain ever since about five o'clock yesterday i have not been able to relieve the pain um some things help some things in medicines help um, but on a very small scale, they kind of dial the pain back a little bit, but it's very much still there. It hurts a lot. I don't want to talk too much or chew too hard because I don't want to, I don't know. I don't know what's all connected. So I just feel like like sneezing earlier made this hurt so bad. So anyways, I have to drop off Nova. We're leaving the house now and then I'm going to go straight to radiation. So see you guys there. All right. We just made it to the office I just parked um, I'm about to go in for radiation it's about 9 50 right now so I did make it on time I thought I was gonna be a little late because I left a little later but um, I need to go ahead and get in there God, I'm just really hoping they can like either prescribe me something to go pick up that's a little stronger or give me something while I'm here that's gonna be stronger because I need I need I need something but I'm not going to bring anything in because I'm not really sure how this goes. Maybe for my second and third time, if I can bring something in now that I know. But, I mean, I'll have my camera in my purse. But other than that, um, I'm not going to bring, like, I have my laptop and stuff. Because I'm going to go to Nia's house after this. And just, I don't really want to suffer alone. <laughs> I don't want to be in pain by myself. So, I'm going to go hang out with her. Because she lives, like, down the street from this doctor's office. So, yeah. Anyways, we're here. Let's go get it. So I think this is the radiation machine. And I'm going to lay here. And I'm pretty sure this is where they circle in on the spot. They're just going to be getting like right where the incision is for the ear. So it's not affecting like any other part of my body as much, you know. So yeah, I'm here. Alright, so it's like 11.45. Ooh, my bad. It's like 11.45 and um, here's a first look. I have anxiety. <laughs> I'm sorry, it hurts to like smile right now. Okay. Um, wow, like it's for real not there no more. <laughs> Do y'all see that? It's so much shorter than the other ear, but you know what? I'd rather short than a big thing staring at all of us while we breathe. <clears throat> Anyways, so it turns out radiation is actually a really easy process. Um, it's about five minutes every day. Today was about 15 to 20 because he needed to situate me and get me right and make sure that he has all the settings on where they need to be. Um... So yeah, it was painful because not only was it already hurting, he had to like move and adjust my ear. Lord Jesus, send help. But I was calm. I breathed through it. You know what I'm saying? But as far as the update on the medicine, um, he said to take ibuprofen along with the Tylenol they prescribed me. So I stopped at CVS. I just made it to Nia's house, by the way. <clears throat> I stopped at CVS and I got something to eat. It's the first thing I've eaten today. I love me some Fig Newtons. Anybody else love Fig Newtons? I love Fig Newtons. But I grabbed some of these. Grabbed a Just Water. Because if you're not drinking Just Water, then you should really invest in some. You should really think about drinking spring water. Anyways. Um, but honestly, this is the best spring water because... 
the pH is still on point and um, that is really important in, in water. What else did I get? Oh, and some ibuprofen. So I already took it. I've been like, this is the most medicine I've taken in such a short time span. <sighs> but I've already taken it. I'm just like desperate. I just got the regular CVS brand. 200 milligrams. So I took two along with the one pill from my prescription. So I'm just hoping. I mean, the pain feels like it's just getting only worse. Um, so ooh, I'm just like, all right, well, we'll see what happens. But I got to stop talking because I feel like any type of movement is like triggering it anyways radiation was easy it did not hurt um and once he was done he was done i just kind of like walked right out so anyways let me go in here that is an update for post-op day one and i guess i'll see you guys tomorrow for post-op day two i'll let y'all know how i'm feeling a little later if the medicine works in what combination of what I need to be taking in order to not feel anything anymore. Um, so yeah, I'll update you guys later. We're running late today because I don't know why. I just woke up late. Like we, Nova woke up pretty early around like 7 a.m. six between 6:30 and 7. Um, yep, this is what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Um, but I fell asleep on the couch last night, actually. It was actually more comfortable than the bed, because in the bed, in the bed, I just want to, yeah, that's what it looks like. I know, right? In the bed, I just want to, like, roll over and, you know, really get comfortable. So being, like, at an elevated, yeah, I'll give you some in a minute. It's just water, baby. It's not juice. Oh, that's not bad here you want to try it it's just infused water it's not it's not like juice baby mm, you I like it? The smell of it yep that's blackberry flavor okay. you done okay we gotta go we gotta go we are late I'm definitely going to be late today to my appointment. At, all, at least, like, maybe, like, only five minutes. Hopefully, I can... <clears throat> hopefully, I can oops, make up some time because... I don't know. We're just behind today. We're just behind. I can't remember if I woke up for my 3.30 medicine dosage. Um, all I know is I woke up at my 6.30 alarm and was needing some medicine that being said the night was obviously what sounds to be a, like at least a little bit better for me <laughs> um so the night was at least a little better for me last night um so because I, I really don't remember what happened at 3 30 like if i woke up and took medicine or if i wasn't in pain and i was able to sleep through the night i know that sounds really crazy but that's just the truth um it's about time i took it around 6 30 um, so at 930 would be time, but I'm definitely feeling pain and I don't want what happened yesterday to happen again today where I was just in a lot of pain with them doing the radiation. So I started taking it a little bit early this time around only because I'm already feeling pain. So if I wait until 930, then the pain really won't be like the pain really won't be have been subsided by the time I show up for my 10 o'clock appointment. So daily routine, I'm dropping the baby off and then headed to my appointment and radiation should be a lot faster today. He didn't specify if he had to mess with my ear again today or if the, because he was a fill in yesterday. It wasn't the actual radiologist. Um, so today I think I will be meeting with the real, with the real radiologist and, um, We'll see if they have to touch my ear again because, Lord, that hurts so bad. But I don't see why I'd be a fool to think that they didn't have to touch my ear again because if they had to do it the first time to get the proper spots, then 
what makes me think that they wouldn't have to do it again this time around so even the more i talk i can just feel the pain arising so i will see you guys after radiation this seems like this is what the routine is going to pretty much look like radiation day two is complete and of course it hurt because they have to touch and move it and get it in position for the machine but I will say taking medicine definitely helped but it didn't completely get rid of the pain so yeah post-op day two complete I'll update y'all if something changes later if I feel miraculously better or what also you can kind of see my ears you can kind of see my ears like red and irritated like right here and I think it's just because of the radiation obviously they said it was gonna get like sunburnt looking for a couple days and then it'll start crusting and peeling and then it'll get really dark darker than my skin and then it'll go to normal so let's go home good morning post-op day three um, um my pain is finally under control i have a good system going i've been taking one of the prescription that they give me and then three ibuprofens every three hours like sometimes i feel the pain before the three hours is even up so i try to catch it before the pain starts and i'm able to last much longer i experienced no pain really last night i did wake up uh for my 3 30 3 30 a.m like medicine alarm which meant it was time for more pain medicine. I woke up, I took it, and I was able to go right back to sleep because I was in no pain. Um, like I said, continuing to take it before you feel the pain is super important. So once my alarm went off at 6.30 to take my antibiotics, because I take antibiotics every six hours, so at 6 a.m., 12 p.m., 6 p.m., 12 a.m., and that, in that cycle every day. Um, I didn't have pain at that 6.30 mark. Um, but I did start experiencing some pain around the nine o'clock mark when really I shouldn't need to take medicine until 9.30. So I took it around 9.11 because I felt my ear getting tight and like I can feel it kind of shooting pain now while, as I'm talking to y'all. Um, but I've been just trying to consume my body with lots of good healthy foods. I have been eating kind of bad a little here and there but for the most part like trying to start my day with like a clean juice i juiced this yesterday it's celery juice but with like not solely celery celeries celery apple cucumber ginger lemon um red apple so yeah that's how i start my days and then the rest of the day i'm pretty much eating like a normal diet just trying to take in as many greens as possible um, I just want my body to heal in a good way. So, but anyways, on to my third and final day of radiation. The radiation has been going well. It's really fast appointment. Um, the only thing it would is it does hurt. Like for some reason, every time I come, I get here, my ear just decides it wants to hurt. Like it's just so strange, but I'm definitely trying to keep it under control pain wise um hopefully the pain subsides by the time i get there so i'm gonna stop talking because i've gone every day in pain like where the pain is already there um and today i thought was gonna be a day where i go and there was no pain but it's slowly coming back but i took medicine so let's just hope it does what it needs to do all right guys so the last time that you see me was my last day of radiation and i never actually came back on camera to tell you guys how it went but it went splendid it was spectacular i felt no pain that day every day the pain just reduced and reduced and sure enough by the last day of radiation i didn't feel anything the last day of radiation was a breeze um and i was just so happy to not be so uncomfortable for the first time in a couple days um so needless to say the pain did subside come the third day of radiation by the time I got to the doctor's office and I was able to withstand the radiation the entire time without in without um, an ounce of pain like obviously there was pressure naturally I mean you know there's only so much you can do but that pain that I was experiencing before was not there so here we are a month later checking in for a one month update and surprisingly my one month 
um, appointment at the doctor's office actually got canceled. I know you can see my bra straps, but it's really, I'm just here to give y'all a quick little update. But um, yeah, so my one month appointment was supposed to be May 11th at 10 a.m. And for some reason it got canceled um, because I think the, the scheduling with the nurse practitioner. Um, but luckily my one month got moved to the 24th. So I'll be able to go in, I'll be able to see her, and the lady kind of suggested that I would be able to just kind of get like a virtual phone call, especially if like nothing was wrong with my ear or if I wasn't showing any symptoms of like redness or bleeding or irritation or swelling or anything like that. They were really nonchalant about it, but, and I'm sure that they have, I'm sure they know what they're doing and I'm sure that they've, you know, gone through many of keloid removal surgeries, but my opinion, and I told the lady, I was just like, I would just really like to see somebody in person. If you guys wouldn't mind, I would just like to have my follow-up appointment properly and have someone look at the ear and make sure that I'm putting these on properly. Um, something that I've been doing ever since I left surgery. Um, I, it didn't really start until about a week after surgery. These strips on my ear are something that I've continuously um, changed throughout this course of time. So my, my biggest responsibility is to not submerge this in water as well as refresh the strips as they get old. These are what the wound closure strips look like and actually the radiologist gave these to me at my last radiation appointment. Um, she gave me like three to four packs of these and so they come just like this and I'm annoyed because I just changed my strips yesterday or the day before yesterday and I really wanted to do it on camera and I totally just forgot it was like late and I just did it real quick because they needed to be like fixed up but every now and then like you'll see soon enough I'll need to like cut around so what I do is just grab some scissors and sometimes it'll come up from the back it'll come up from right here it'll lift from in here because I start it inside of my ear although the incision kind of starts like out here I lay the strips down inside of my ear and I wrap them down and I just keep going like that and they kind of pretty much gave me the blueprint of how it should be because of how it was wrapped up when I left surgery. So the biggest and most important thing that the radiation, uh, the radiologist told me was to not pull the whole thing off. Like even if it looks like, like if it's still attached to my scar, do not pull it off. So any tension or anything, I don't even bother. I don't pull the strips off. Like I wait till they're sticking up and then I cut around the area, cut the strips off and then I replace strips as I see fit. So I hope that was like kind of an understanding of how to <laughs> how to put your wound closer strips on. Um, and this is what they look like in the package. I don't really know. Okay, boom. So I cut the length that I see fit and there's three strips on each pad. As you see, I've used both of these. I have a little bit of the second one left and then I have the full bottom strip left. So I cut the size that I feel like that I'll need for whatever portion that I'm gonna put the wound closure strip on and then I'm good to go. And uh, for a while, for the first month, y'all are gonna think I'm crazy, but for the first month, I showered like this. because I just really did not want to get the ear wet. But now I don't shower like that anymore and I do just like wet my hair. I shower normal, but I really am very cautious with making sure I don't get the ear excessively wet. Like if water drips on it, cool, but my I don't purposely put my ear in the water. So I just I don't know what that will do, what that'll cause, but I'm trying to avoid it as as I'm trying to avoid it as much as possible just because they've suggested not to really avoid getting the ear wet. So there's not really much to tell. I've been living life normally. I've been taking photos, going out and about. Um, I'll, although I am on a different like dietary restriction or not really dietary restriction, but new lifestyle kind of. Really, I'm on like a, re a regular diet aside from me changing my lifestyle, just trying to lose weight and things like that. That's a whole other story on the other side. But if I wasn't doing that, I'd be on a regular, you know, eating schedule, kind of just living regular life. Um, I can now, I avoid sleeping on this side of my face, but if I like absolutely just can't stand sleeping on this side or I'm tired of sleeping on my back for the moment, I will sleep like this 
where my ear is completely exposed but it does not hurt no longer when like I put on my head down like for some reason at the beginning post-surgery in the very early stages when I laid my head down for too long there was immediate pressure in that area and now I don't feel that anymore so I can lay on my side I don't ever lay on it never ever ever have I done that I am not ready for that I'm I mean I don't think I'll be able to do that for like another year but as far as like sensitivity wise Nova has bumped me and knocked me in my ear numerous times and it has not hurt it's just like in my brain I think it hurts but physically it doesn't actually hurt like it's more like a tight feeling um but other than that guys there really is not much to share I mean the next big update will be removing the strips and I'll come on here and I'll film a video and I'll show you guys what the ear looks like finally we'll be able to see what the ear looks like I kind of got a peek the other day as I was changing my strips um and it looks kind of gross like it looks bad like it looks like a scar it looks like <laughs> it doesn't look anything like it looked the first time that I got it cut off back in 2019 so i'm really excited to get these off and the next steps after that will be like an ear clamp and ear massages and silicone strips and all of that for like six months um so most of all i'm happy i'm healthy and i feel really good and my ear is looking and healing really well that is pretty much the update and that is what radiation looks like if you guys are watching this and you're about to have kilo removal surgery and you're also doing radiation treatment after this is pretty much what the routine looks like and once you get past the first week of uh, post-surgery you are going to be good to go i mean the ear is she's here and i don't wear my hair back at all i mean i don't wear my hair down right now because i noticed that even like when i'm at home chilling and my hair is down like the hair will get you know snag onto like the stickiness of these ear strips and stuff like that so i don't want anything messing with or coming in contact with the ears so I just keep my hair back I've been doing all kind of cute little styles just playing with my hair doing things that I haven't been able to do in years and I've been loving it <laughs> like wholeheartedly loving it so that is my update one month update and there really is not much to share I mean you guys have seen every single step of this process at this point and you guys know I would not miss out on filming anything past this point so stay tuned for when she comes off but for right now um she's here to stay and she's healing well and I'm just really excited to just you know be past this month hump of of the healing process so yeah stay tuned make sure you guys turn your bell notifications on and subscribe to my channel don't forget to don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and if you want to see what the ear looks like once we remove the strips from the ear make sure you comment down below hashtag reveal the ear <laughs> um and as always thank you for watching i'll catch you in my next video bye